what is going on a1 gang we're back with another video today today we have a 2019 ford escape titanium four-wheel drive now this one is the top of the line model has every feature that you can get in a ford escape and let's just let's just hop right into this one right here now this one is at like 37,000 and some change now to me that's not bad for a fully loaded um, SUV with four-wheel drive, panoramic roof, everything. I mean, it's it's fully loaded, so thirty-seven thousand isn't bad at all, in my opinion. Some people might say it's still kind of high, but to me, that's not bad at all, at all. So, do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. So we we just got that out the way, right out the gate, and you got the LEDs and the lights right here. You got the little LED fog lights very nice man starting to warm up a little bit out here but it's still kind of cold so let's hop right into the sticker right here y'all can't see it but i can so you get 21 in the city 27 in a on a highway and 23 miles per gallon combined on the highway for your gas mileage now you are getting a ford pass connect which is the 4g wi-fi system you're getting a push button start, remote start. Um, what else? You're getting voice activated navigation, dual climate control, dual climate, con <laughs> dual climate <laughs> control. You know, there you go. Couldn't get that out for nothing in this world, but there we have it. You got steering wheel controls, everything. You got the privacy glass on here. You got the windshield wiper de-icer, auto stop start technology, enhanced parking assist. Um, Man, it has everything. I'm not going to bore y'all with all this. You got the blind spot inter info information system. Information system. Man, I can't talk right now for nothing in the world. And this color right here, by the way, is called Ruby Red Metallic. Ruby Red Metallic. There we go. Like I said, this is the top of the line trim that you can get on this vehicle. And this brings your total price to $37,405. Bam. Before all these options and everything, the car was at $34,120. So, not bad at all for it. Nicely priced. That's the way things should be done. Let's go ahead and um, start this thing up. If it's going to start up for me. It ain't going to start up for me, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get y'all this exhaust note real quick. Nice and quiet, silky smooth. All that smoke coming up out of there, man. That thing cold. So you got a 2.0 liter um, engine in this. Uh, putting out 245 horsepower. It is a four cylinder. There you go. You can see those uh, HIDs real good. Not, not the HID. The LEDs uh, right there. Real good on there. Um, like I said, it's a 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, putting out 245 horses. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Oh, there we go. 245 horses underneath there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's close that up. Ruby red metallic, man. That, that paint sure does look good, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and hop in here. You got the LEDs incorporated into the mirror right here. You got the puddle light underneath. You got the little Ford code on the outside of the door where you can program it and, you know what I'm saying, type in your little code. If you forget the key in the house, you got to run back outside, go get something. You ain't got the key with you, type in your code, and bam, you go in there. Blind spot detection right there in the mirror. Soft touch material is not leather or anything, it's just soft touch. Same thing right here, it's padded. You got the memory seating right up here. 
automatic driver side window let's see about the passenger same thing with the passenger same thing with all the back windows too so you got your bottle holder storage nice seats they aren't perforated so that mean they aren't uh cool but they are heated let's go ahead and hop up in this so just like that let's turn that radio down man you got your buttons right here to cycle throughout this little digital screen that you get with your analog gauges tire pressures all that good stuff miles per hour trip odometer different vehicle settings information um auto stop start you could turn that off from here driver alert slow you know there you go speed too slow or speed too low different things like that intelligent four-wheel drive so it'll show you what wheels are using the most power um man it's just a lot of different things that you can do your cruise control right here volume buttons with the voice control also right here you got dual climate control and they as you can see they are on set on different things right here i can turn mine's up i found this kind of weird right here it's got vents underneath here so if you got a drink right here in your cup holder like something that's cold or something that's hot vice versa and say for instance you're drinking some tea and it's the summertime and you got it in here and it's hot outside you got it on the ac so it's going blow right there into your tea or your coffee or whatever making it cold that's kind of weird <laughs> i just I, I just at least i thought it was kind of weird um you got the sony sound system in this one as well sony system um you got the navigation as you can see very nice updated look to it you can zoom out right there shows you little side streets and stuff it's moving a little bit slow I don't know, but it does have the Wi-Fi, as you can see right there. Uh, the system isn't laggy or anything. It's just taking a little time. I guess it's got an update or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, man. You can mute it, do all of that good stuff to it. I'm trying to bring up that little... There it is, right? So you got your different apps and everything, your settings. Um, ambient lighting, hotspot, all of that parking assist parking aid all of that good stuff the vehicle will park itself it'll parallel park out so there you go select the side using your turn signal it'll parallel park itself and uh yeah man auto stop auto start see that's what i'm saying Thirty-seven thousand. you're getting all these features in here man go try to do that with some competitors you're not gonna get all of that at all you're not even gonna get none of this stuff um little cubby hole right here sit your phone in while it's charging usb and a 12 volt cup holders park and hold electronic parking brake i mean um another look cubby hole right here got some little storage right up here and you lift that up got a usb down there close that up got your glove box which is nice and spacious let's go ahead and hop in the back seat real quick y'all now you don't have paddle shifters but if you want into that you got the sport mode right here and you can hit the button and you know do your thing <laughs> this car going crazy um <laughs> same materials on this back door that's on the front door you can also recline this back right here right here with this uh let it forward go back some you got your cup holders right here storage on the back of the seat got your rear vents got the wall charger down there i can't even get it and my hands are frozen but uh yeah you got the wall charger down there the vent so you won't burn up that's mandatory man it's mandatory got that panoramic roof that comes back here now my seat isn't reclined or anything either and my headroom is a little bit tight so if i recline this back seat right here i'd be gucci <laughs> but um legs is good not the best amount of leg room like i said if i can recline the seat i'm good but uh like i said cup holders right here bam just like that let's go ahead and um open up this open up this back so you could just do the kick thing that's what i just did and um back here you got your mat carpeted area 12 volt charger right there 
Got a spare tire. Just like that. That's what's underneath there. Close that up. Very nice vehicle, man. Let me show you all the reverse camera real quick, too. And then we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. I, to me, I like that Ford Chime. I don't know why I just like it. But uh, here's the reverse camera. Nice and crispy. You know, with the guidance lines. But yeah, man, just like that, this video is over, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next. I hope y'all like this video. I like this car a lot. I think for the price, you can't beat it. But um, yeah, man. Just like that, I'm going to see y'all, you know, in the next video. I'm gone.